Sam, you know what? What's that, John? Smashing those candy canes really got me thinking. I love sugar cookies. Well, you know what's in sugar cookies, John? Sugar? Yes. How about we smash some sugar? That sounds great. I'd okay. love to see so, that. Coming back here, we're going to be using our another workstation just like we were using. It's a larger workstation with 120 kilonewtons of capacity. Um, oftentimes, in especially powder compaction type applications, it requires a servo press to have the accuracy and force, um, force scalability of a servo press. So Sam, why don't we set up the first test? Let's do it. Can you go ahead and pour some sugar in the cavity? Yeah, that will do. So we'll pour it in here just so you guys know we're using the same amount of sugar each time and we'll go to different forces each test. Yeah, so as, as Sam is pouring this, um, as you can see here, we're going to be using a die set that we have. Uh, like Sam said, we're going to use the, uh, this cup to best kind of measure um, an equal test as, as we do the three. The first test, we're going to apply 40 kilonewtons. The second test, we're going to apply 80 kilonewtons. And the third test, we're going to apply 110 kilonewtons. And, and, and we'll use this to see what, what comes up with the best results. Oftentimes in powder compaction, you have to be able to have a, a, a system that's flexible like this so that you can determine what makes the best compaction for your, for your material. All right, Sam, you ready? Yes, John, let's All do right, it. All right, so you want to bring the, the, the door down? Yeah. All right, so like I said, the first one's going to be 40 kilonewtons. I'll go ahead, as you can see here on the HMI, I'm going to cycle start. So as we see here, it's going to move until 40 kilonewtons is found, and then it's going to hold force for three seconds. Another interesting thing about powder compaction is you do have to dwell at the bottom. That dwell time needs to be adjustable because um, depending on your material, you might need to dwell more or less. So let's, let's check the results of the first one. I don't know if you want to help me with this, Sam. Yeah, gotcha. So I'll kind of pick that up and put it in here. And we'll need to bang it out with this. Okay. All right, so as you can see, this is, uh, this is 40 kilonewtons. Still pretty brittle, not really compacted all that well. Let's do the same test with 80 kilonewtons and see how that comes out. All right, there you go. So while Sam's doing that, I'll, I'll come in here and I'll modify the program to go to 80 kilonewtons. Here, as you can see, I'll just simply open up the dial, open up the step programming. I'll change it from 40 to 80. And this is all it takes. I'll hit OK. I'll hit OK. The longest portion of this entire process is the syncing, sending it over to the controller. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll cycle start. This one's going to go to 80. Again, it's going to dwell for three seconds. That's what it's doing down there. And then it's going to return back. All right, so let's, let's check the results of that. You know, I'll use the second plate for 80 kilonewtons. Okay, a little bit better. Here you can see this one much more compacted compared to the 40 kilonewtons. Still not enough though, still not enough though. So let's add some more for force. Let's go to 110. Let's go to 110 kilonewtons. So while Sam is, uh, is reloading the die set, I'll go ahead and I'll, and I'll change the programming to 110, program, uh, 110 kilonewtons.
All right. So Sam has it loaded, the same same approximate amount of sugar as the previous two versions, but now we're going to, going to go to 110 kilonewtons. I'll cycle start. We're going to come down, apply 110 kilonewtons, as you can see in the HMI. Then we're going to hold and dwell. Okay. So let's see how the results of this came out. So pretty similar to the to the 80 actually. So here we kind of we kind of broke it. I, I would argue that the 80 and the 110 didn't make that much of a difference. I would agree. Didn't make that much of a yeah. difference. Um, the next thing to try would be maybe dwelling longer or dwelling less. Those are other things that can also affect um, how much how much consistency you get out of, out of your material.